It's Umi, and this episode of Sensational 30 is really going to be sensational. That's because we're going to be talking about the innovative DTS AutoSense experience. Now, I'm a huge tech nerd, but this is way beyond me to explain. Luckily, we have DTS's Andrada N.A. and Yan Kuo from Partner Garmin to make sense of, well, DTS AutoSense. Last pun, I promise. Andrada, what is DTS AutoSense and how did it come to be? Well, in a nutshell, uh, DTS AutoSense is imaging technology for understanding what is the state of occupants inside the car. Uh, for example, our solutions can understand if the driver is drowsy or sleeping or not paying attention to the road and so on. Moreover, our solutions can understand how many people are in the car, where they are seated, who they are based on facial recognition, what activity they are doing and also if there are any children or pets present. Lately, we've introduced this concept that we call the Garmin Unified Cabin, um, which provides a tremendous amount of individualized experiences with DTS AutoSense, identifying who is sitting where, no matter where someone is sitting, the content that they watch at home or at the gym or in a coffee shop, all those experiences are just seamlessly translated into wherever they're sitting in the car. What's the focus for DTS, safety or experience? Safety has been the first destination for the in-cabin journey, and we are fully committed to it. Once you have safety insured, you are looking to more experiences. As of today, the in-cabin space is not really a place where you want to be, but you just have to be. So in order to change that, we, DTS, propose the in-cabin space as a third space that is between the physical space and the digital space. Why did Garmin decide to work with DTS? The key to what Garmin provides is a solid integration foundation, the ability to take a lot of the features that are developed by, by DTS and making that an, an immersive and personalized experience. And uh, we were able to achieve that through a tight integration, continued collaboration over, over many years. And DTS provided a very solid solution that was just a pleasure to work with and robust right out of the box. So what's next? The future, I would say, is the evolving cabin, which is a car that learns from you and adapts to your preferences and uh, your habits. Yeah, we're very much aligned on the, the in-cabin experience of the future and leveraging machine learning and AI and learning the habits of not only the driver, but all the passengers and really providing a, a very individual experience on the one hand, but also the ability to share amongst all passengers. Yes, it would be, uh, let's say, an intelligence layer uh, that would enable the car to adapt to you and become an extension of yourself. It definitely sounds like the future of in-car sensing is already here, so might as well take advantage. We've got one more episode left. Join us to see what's next for DTS. As if the first 30 years of innovation and industry first wasn't enough. 